Maybe they would just be escorted off the campus instead of resisting. And there goes those 40 millimeter flash things again being used as a distractionary device. And there's more tables, chairs, wooden pallets, those metal barriers. All of that. There is a protester straight ahead wearing a yellow helmet, and that protester is holding up a metal folding, a metal or plastic folding chair to protect themselves behind a metal barrier as police continue to dismantle. Look at that piece of metal. It looks like we, it was a metal table at one point. That protester now holding one of those metal barriers. They continue. Uh, to try to stop police from coming into their encampment. At this point, I would say that's uh, pretty pointless. Police are here, they're inside, and they're taking people into custody. Book, but from our Sky Fox, our aerial views, uh, there are hundreds of people. And again, these are not all UCLA students. They may not even be a majority of UCLA students. There are a lot of people that law enforcement and uh, campus officials refer to as agitators inciting the violence. And I'm going to ask Tony uh, Butita to pan off to the right. You've got a clear shot of all of the protesters right there wearing those white helmets. They were well prepared for it. They knew this was going to happen, and they are very well organized, and they've been managing to have all these things brought into them. They've been bringing things in. And I understand at one point they were even using wristbands to identify who was really a part of the encampment and who wasn't. So if you didn't have a wristband, you didn't get in. Uh, they are very well organized. This is not just a couple of students that said, hey, let's go protest. There's another fire extinguisher being set off right there.
Well, we just saw a big fight break out between protesters and police. One of the protesters was near a fire extinguisher, and we heard California Highway Patrol officers shouting at them, don't pick it up, don't pick it up. Very tense moments. The protester did not pick it up. They continue to dismantle this. Many people have been taken into custody already, but the biggest challenge so far has been dismantling the encampment. And basically what police are doing is they're circling the protesters, and that group is getting smaller and smaller, although it is still quite large. Tony, if you take that to me for a second, I just want to show you some of the things that we've seen flying from the encampment here. This is a lantern. It's even it's still lit. This just came flying from the encampment here. So protesters are throwing things at police officers at the California Highway Patrol. I'm going to leave this here now. Uh, uh, photographer, there's another scuffle right now. They are beginning to resist being arrested. The protesters are grabbing other protesters that are being taken into custody. So it's sort of a tug of war between police, uh, protesters, and in the middle, the protesters being taken into custody. Not nice to see. Uh, this is what no one wanted to see. And please interrupt me if you have another uh, shot. Look at that piece of metal right now that just came flying. How they got, you have to ask yourself, how did they get all of this into the encampment? These are pieces of plywood, it's not like you can put them in your pocket. And uh, a lot of people very critical of UCLA, both officials, university officials and campus police, that they allowed all of this material. We're talking about tables, metal chairs, wood, metal barriers that we're seeing, easy ups, tents, umbrellas, things that you can't easily sneak into campus. And obviously police, campus officials should have known what this was going to be used for, yet they allowed this to continue and what you allowed to continue will exactly continue. Photographer Tony Pintino, let's go down to this sign right here. I just want to show a sign on one of those pieces of plywood. Ruins say free Palestine. A lot of signage on the metal, on the wood barriers that have been spray painted. Uh, all through campus, actually, yesterday we walked up to the cafe to use the restroom and all the walls outside the campus uh, cafe.